What is up guys, how's it going? It is Michael and today we're going to make some low fat fettuccine alfredo. Eight grams of fat per serving. So let's get to the recipe. The first thing that we're gonna do with this recipe is take a pan. I've got this heating at a medium heat, five out of 10. We're going to take a tablespoon and today I am using a light butter, tablespoon of light butter and start to melt that on the stove. And while that butter is melting, I'm going to add in some lemon zest. And not much at all, probably around a teaspoon. And once the butter is melted, I've got two teaspoons of some flour here. We'll add that on there. And take a spoon and mix all of that together. Next up is one cup of almond milk. And we're going to continue stirring all of this up. And we're also going to add in a half a teaspoon of salt. And now after sitting here and stirring it up for a few minutes while it has thickened up, we're going to add the next two ingredients. So what I've got here is two tablespoons of some low fat cream cheese and then three quarters of a cup of Parmesan cheese. And while this is starting to melt, I'm going to add in some parsley flakes and some garlic powder. And I'm going to sit here and continue to stir this while the Parmesan and the low fat cream cheese melts. So here we are a few minutes later, the Alfredo sauce is cooking. It's really thickened up a lot and I'm stirring it up every 30 seconds or so. I've just got it on a low heat right over there and obviously if I wasn't in a really small apartment kitchen, I would have had the water boiling and I would have cooked the pasta while the sauce is cooking, but hey, I'm working with what I've got. So I've got 12 ounces of some fettuccine right here, and we're gonna cook that just like normal pasta. A few minutes later, I've got the sauce here, and I've got our cooked pasta already strained it out. We're gonna add that into a bowl, and when I cooked up the pasta, I kept around one cup of the water that we cooked it in. So now what we're gonna do is take our sauce and add it on top of the pasta. And once you've got that in there, we're going to take some of that hot water that we cooked the pasta in, just a small amount at a time. And then you're gonna stir it up and just work the Alfredo sauce into the fettuccine. So after you're done cooking up your fettuccine Alfredo, this is what it can look like. I topped it off with a little bit of chicken and you're going to get quite a bit of fettuccine Alfredo with this. You've probably got an easy six servings and that's really what fits into your macros. I topped mine off with some grilled chicken. This is actually my lunch today so looking forward to having this. Great recipe. I've already tried it out. It tastes great so be sure to give it a shot. That's it for the video guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it hit the like button down below and if you want to see more of my fitness recipes bam cookbook right to the side of me or down below in the description. Over 200 recipes there. And before I let you guys go, you might have watched my videos lately. The NASM is still doing a promo where you can get two free weeks to their online personal training course. It's a good organization if you want to become a certified personal trainer. So you can go down below in the description or go to myusatrainer.com slash MKF. So thank you very much for watching as always. I hope you guys like the recipe and I'll talk to you next time.